There's a new tool for Premiere Pro that can take care of time-consuming tasks for you, like keyframing or adding animation to text, and it's called Automation Blocks. Let's jump on in. So what is Automation Blocks? Well, firstly, it's an extension for Premiere Pro that can run specific scripts that can perform certain tasks for you. And second, it's basically a tool that you can build your own scripts to perform custom tasks that you would like to do. First off is creating one-click slideshows. Go up to Window, Extensions, Automation Blocks to open up Automation Blocks. So over from Examples, you can go down to Rendering and click on One Click Slideshow. And you don't need to have a sequence open or anything like that. Just click on it and click Run. And it will ask you to select photos for the slideshow. Let's say that we have three photos here. Let's go ahead and click Open. So as you can see, it imported our photos into a new sequence and added a subtle Ken Burns effect. Effect. Now you might be wondering what about the duration of the photos? It actually just goes off of the default photo duration, which is based on your Premiere Pro preferences. So if you want this to be shorter or longer, you can change this value here and press OK. So if we go into the one click slideshow script, you can see that the preset sequence actually has the broadcast sequence preset. But what if you don't want this preset? You can actually click here and choose a different preset to start from. So if you want it to start from a 9 by 16 portrait vertical, you can choose this and then you can save as and you can save it into your automation blocks library. You can see I already saved one one click vertical. So now what we can do is go back here to our library and click on one click slideshow vertical and click run. And then we can select those photos hit open, and now we have a vertical slideshow instead, which is probably more useful for Reels and TikToks, which I think is very exciting because, you know, having to add that manual animation, it just takes a long time, and this is just a shortcut, really. Next is one-click wiggles and shakes. So what if you wanna create like an earthquake shake effect or just a subtle shake effect? You can use Wiggle, but Premiere Pro doesn't come with a built-in Wiggle preset, but Automation Blocks can fix this for you. We have this demolition clip here. What if we want to add some shake to it? By default, we can actually go here into add motion underneath clips and click on wiggle. And if we click run, you can see that it actually shakes it, but you see the black bars around it. And to change that, you need to go to effects and you need to scale it up so you don't see those edges. Now, another thing that you don't have here is motion blur. So I was like, hey, Automation Blocks team from Mama World, can we create a version of this that automatically scales and works with the transform effect that'll allow us to add a subtle motion blur? So the only way that this will work is if we actually apply a transform effect first, because the script cannot apply the transform effect for us, unfortunately, but we can just drag and drop it and then Automation Blocks can take care of the rest. Once again, Again, you can download this free Wiggle custom preset script. It is called Selected Clips Wiggle Premiere Gal Version. And before we click Run, be sure to open up here the inputs so you have more customization here. And instead of using the motion position, we're going to do the transform effect. And I want it to scale in at 120. And you can choose how many wiggles per second and the amount here that you can customize as well, which is all really useful. So let's click run. So here's a result. We didn't have to scale in again because of the scale property here. We might want it to be a little bit more intense. So what we want to do is maybe change the wiggles per second to eight. And then the amount, let's do like... 110 and that's a little bit more intense but what we can do now is go to effect controls and we can adjust the shutter angle to 180 and we can get a little bit more motion blur action happening which i think looks a lot better and by the way i'm kelsey if this video is helping you out be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and if you want to learn more about video editing 
you are in the right place. And if you didn't know, my team and I have designed our own toolkit for Premiere Pro. It's called the Premiere Gal Toolkit, and it has over 1200 effects, motion text presets, color grades, overlays, transitions, kinetic typography. I mean, the list goes on. We designed it so you could have all these effects and styles ready to use organized in one panel and you just have to double click and apply. If you want to try it out, we actually have a demo starter version now that includes 20 free assets that you can test out before you decide to get the full toolkit. And next is adding instant animation to your captions. So here we have our captioning track and we need to add some styles. So let's go ahead and select one of them and let's update our font. Let's increase the size and let's reposition it. There we go. Let's say we want to create this as a preset. We can go up here to track style and create style. And let's just call this Kamika. Okay. After we save this track style, it applied this to all of the captions. So right now, I did make a music video using AI. It's animating, you know, one to two words to what I'm saying, but there's no actual animation. What you actually have to do is first convert it to a graphics layer. So to do that, first we need to select all of them. And then we can go up to graphics and titles and upgrade caption to graphic. So now it moved from our captioning track to a regular video track as a graphics layer. And now this is where automation blocks comes in. So we can go to our first caption here and we can zoom in and we can select our first caption, go up to window extensions, automation blocks. And here you will see that there are ready-made example scripts that you can apply to your clips. One of which you can do is just use the default keyframes to add in and out scale in, for example, subtle scale to each of these captions for the selected clips. But we actually created a custom gal caption animation working with Mama World. And you can actually download this um, using the link in my description box. You can go to documents, automation blocks, Premiere library, and you can just drag in the XML file, which is the script preset into your folder and then reopen automation blocks. So it will appear here underneath your user library. So the gal caption animation will give you some drop down options. So you can do opacity scale. You can just do scale all the way down to endless zoom. Now, before we do opacity and scale, the first thing that you want to do actually actually is make sure your anchor point is centered. So for this first title, if we go to effect controls and click on motion, you will see that our anchor point is in the center of the video frame and we want it centered on the text. So just grab this anchor point and move it to the center here of the text. And you only have to do it on the first one. So then what we can do is go to automation blocks and we can select all of them here and go ahead and run and we can see the results. I did make a music video using AI tools. So you can see the fade out maybe is a little bit too much. So we can go ahead and lasso and select all of them again and uncheck fade out. And let's go ahead and run it again. So here's the result. I did make a music video using AI tools. I think it looks fantastic. So you have all of these variants here in the drop down. And if you want to see any other animation presets in the variant drop down here in automation blocks, just leave a comment below and we'll make it. So this is really just the tip of the iceberg for things that you can do with automation blocks to automate your workflow and just speed up these tedious tasks. If you do decide to check it out, be sure to use my link below because it's my affiliate link. It helps support our channel. You can get a 10 day free trial first and then you can purchase it lifetime for just $59.99, which is a great deal. It's not subscription. And I love that they don't have subscription because I know you and I both have a little bit of subscription overload these days. So I'm really, really uh, excited about this tool that Mama World has developed and I'm excited to see what you do with it. If you want to watch more tutorials in Premiere Pro on how to edit faster and do cool effects, you can check out this video and you can click over here to join my Discord and the editing community based on Premiere Gal. Thanks so much for watching this video and as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Ooh.